Hello! In my previous tutorial, I showed you how you could create this yellow worn paint material. But I skipped quite quickly over a common problems that uh, occur when you work with box mapping of your textures. And uh, if we take a look at this node right here, it's not too obvious, but um, you might see the seams that we got here. And it's a common problem when you work with uh, box mapping, you will get these seams uh, due to the way it works. And if we take up the size of this texture, it becomes even more apparent. Let's say we stop it at here, then we have these lines clearly visible uh, also up here and on the other sides as well. There are some different ways that you can try to get rid of this. Uh, one of them is to try and change the mapping type to uh, maybe cylinder, uh, change the center on part, see if that helps and uh, not directly. If we hit move texture, change the uh, axis. Looks a bit better here, but then we get a lot of distortion up here. If we try some of the other axes, it's the same problem that it looks all right some places, but in other places, there's a lot of distortion. Not good. So if we try and change it to sphere, that might work. But again, while it looks good here and on the edges as well, we get these uh, this heavy distortion around here, and that's not going to look any good. So if we go back to the box mapping type, which uh, in most cases I find uh, works the best, uh, we get those seams. But there's actually a way that you can get rid of those or at least make them less visible. And to do that, you can right click in the graph, go to the texture tab and add in this triplanar node, like so. If we uh, hit C on the keyboard to exit the, the color information of this texture map, let me just zoom in and double click on it, we can see the, uh, the options for this node. The triplanar node lets you add three different textures to be projected from the three different planes, okay? But if you only add it in in the projection X, then the same map will be projected from all three planes. So that's basically the same as a box map. The cool thing here is that we have this uh, blend seam slider and if we take that to zero, it will uh, work just as a box map. That, um, yeah, and we will see that in a few seconds. So um, to add in this texture map to the triplanar map or the triplanar node, we have to go to the library and find it because we can't simply drag it in or anything. We have to go to uh, our texture tab, hit M on the, whoops, hit M on the keyboard to, uh, show your material library, go to the texture tab and search for, for the name that you see here, or go find it anywhere else on your computer where you have it stored. So if we do like this, we get it here, and we now hold down left mouse button and drag it all the way over to production X input field here, and let it go, and then we have it in. And stuff rearrange it on itself. So I have to zoom out and find it. We have it over here. So I'll let me just drag this back like so. And let me hit M on the keyboard again to hide the uh, material library or just hit the X if it doesn't work. Zoom in. And um, if we now show the uh, the raw color information of uh, the triplanar map by hitting C on the keyboard, we see these uh, visible seams as well as we see here on the texture map, so no difference. But if we go back and uh, drag off this blend seam, some pretty nice things start to happen. Especially if you look at the seam right here, it's get uh, it gets invisible right away. the The seam here on the edge might need some uh, some more blending. Let's try and type in five. See if it helps a bit better. Try and type ten. Yeah, let's stick with five. So it gets definitely better, but in places where you have a, a huge color difference, then there will still be a hint of seam, but it's definitely better than what we see here. So in this particular case, the, um, the tack sharp um, transition line is not a huge problem, but 
there might be other cases where you really need the edges to blend a bit better. What we have to do uh, as the last thing is to uh, replace this texture map with the triplanar map. And uh, I simply do it by dragging the output into these two inputs. And because we drag it into the bump uh, channel over here, we have to be careful to type in the same bump values as we have for the metal texture. If we click on this one, we can see that the bump height is negative 0.2, and we have to type in the same manually here to make sure it matches. Cool, all set. And now we can uh, select the original texture map and hit delete. Now that map is fixed. And uh, if you have other problems with your seams, you could go through and uh, do the same for the other texture maps as well, that you have bump map and create these tag sharp seams between the, uh, the edges. It's typically when you have uh, large rounded surfaces uh, that blends between uh, one plane and the other plane that um, this seam becomes very visible just exactly as we see here. So that's all for now and I really hope that you learned something from this and that you can use it in your own projects. Please make sure to subscribe if you want to see more like this in the future and until next time take care.